So are we at full bandwidth now? We ready to go? Yes. All right. Hey, y'all. Coach in the fight here. Got a row roll with me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good day. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I got Chris um, here with me too. So we understand you have something you want to share with us. What's going on? Yeah, last night I don't know if if anybody um, saw it. Uh, the beans, um, the beans. Um, I'm not sure if they were coming from the earth or coming from the sky, but they were about four. But it seemed more like it was like. Surrounding, like a circle, like, like, um... Did you say where you were at? Yeah, um, where I, where, oh, okay. where I am. Okay, now Let's hold up. This. How do you feel now? Do you, do you, how do you feel now? Are you, do you feel the same as you did yesterday? I felt, I feel the same as I did yesterday. The only thing that's, uh, different, which is, uh, significant, really, is um, about 3.30, I think it was yesterday, uh, I felt this presence, like uh, negativity. And, um, yeah, it, it's still sort of l lurking. So, I had an issue with my car and uh, a recall on my car. And so they came to get my car, and everything was good and beautiful for the first day. And then yesterday, about 3.30, between 3.30 and 4, um, it's like a switch, like something happened. And these people um, with the car dealership and the recall uh, people, they kind of, they became like, like, <laughs> it's really strange, and so today, so basically, I don't have a car, right? And um, you, you go out to tell me what they did. I didn't hear what they did, but go ahead. Well, okay. So when you know, like, if you have a recall on your car, okay. All of this is to say is is that um, it, all the things like um, like the issue was. Uh, the credit card. I, you know, I didn't. I don't have a credit card, right? Okay. But it's it it it's what I'm getting from it is that whatever uh, I was uh, rejecting, let's say issues and situations uh, that I was rejecting, let's say like if I don't go. Uh, for dinner, for Christmas, let's say. Um, and basically, I won't, I don't have any friends or, let's say, uh, you know, since I'm not working, that means I'm not making money. So that means I have less food, right? <laughs> and so then if I don't have these, you know, friends, so this is going to be the whole holiday season and, you know, all the gathering, whatever. So anything that we have decided that we want to stick with the father, it's like a challenge and it's kind of like, well, um, you know that you need to do this in order to, you know, to, to be um, happy in this world. So it's like a challenge of, if you would just do that, then you, you'll have it. If you do this, then I'll give you that. If you do this, things will go smoothly for you, right? right. So it, it, it's, it's kind of feeling like um, that's how I, how I understood it. And when we talk about this spirit of truth, I'm talking to the people, the dealers, and they're try, they've actually, they try to actually turn the responsibility onto me. Like, if they, they had a recall, my car is burning, right? They told me, you know, don't leave your car next to another car to blow up, you know? <laughs> right, so, okay. so, like, so they come and get my car, but now they try, they're trying to switch it on me that I'm kind of responsible 
to take care of the situation because I don't have a credit card. So I'm just saying this is like this insanity of like how, how people are turning truth into making you, you responsible, like almost crazy. Like you just like you just can't believe what's being said from the people's mouth. And like I said, um, I'm, I'm in the country, so yeah, okay, maybe I have a better view of the sky and everything, but it was some very interesting stuff going on last night. The moon came up about um, 2.30 in the morning. With these beams, and first it was these beams of light, like some sort of laser beams, like, and one was moving. And every time I tried to take a picture of it, my camera went into flash. Cause it, you know, so, roll, roll, roll. And, 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 and then, then all your whole, snot, didn't it? Huh? Then your whole world went to hell, didn't it? And, and your stream last night just cut off. You say my screen cut off? You're streaming last night. You're streaming yeah, live? Yeah, that was our favor. I don't know what he did. That was his fault. The internet, he it keeps was, losing it, the internet. I don't know why he keeps losing the internet every night. Why Why we lose the internet every night? Well, how back, he, got, he said the backup power systems. How are you depending on the backup power systems? The computer's still running like it's playing. The light's still on in the house. The only thing ain't on is the Wi-Fi to transmit all of it. And that ain't a backup system, or anyway. Go ahead, Robo. I'm sorry. But it sound, It seems like it was. I don't think uh, necessarily that it had anything to do with what he did. Um, it seems like it's something going on with the computers and the technology. So. Um, well, yes, yeah, the the um, pulse shift will ha will cause a um, EMP effect on the computers. When it all goes down, it's going to knock them all out. That's why you need to get your books and stuff and your paper and stuff together because when it when the, the pole shift when the big one happens, all your electronics is pretty much going to get fried. So that's part of it. That's how yeah. you're going to know. That's how you're going to know it's here. Is when it happens. Okay. You're just going to lose um, all your electronics. Well, not all of your personal ones. Like, it, it just depends. But, like, the government systems, yeah, they'll, they'll, um, they'll have to scramble to try to get stuff online. And if you live near a power plant, like a nuclear power plant, you might want to pay attention to which way the wind is blowing. You know what I mean? So, so, um, so while, while we were on stream today, I got a, the phone call from the car people, and so I was telling you that, you know, they were really trying to push me uh, to places, and so I feel that uh, there's something going on right now with that, like, you know. Well, well that right there, the <laughs> world, yeah, I can speak on that a little bit from my um, recent experience with Geico. I got some stuff recorded and some stuff with the uh, 911 callers. Um, they, they got, they, you know, we learn from the songs too. And what it is is that the world is going digital, digital, digital. We're losing the love in favor of digital stuff. And what that means is that people will, um, like, especially who have these jobs, these data entry type jobs. They're, they're, these pole shift, one of the things where people, um, get to this elevated state of sending, you know, you know, carrying on because they don't understand the law. Like you taking them damn pictures. You know, you, yeah. Mm -hmm. They, um, when they get, they, instead of being able to show compassion, they're just going to be like, uh, data entry people. And yeah, because you didn't have that credit card, you, you're a casualty of the system and they're going to take advantage of it. It ain't nothing to change strange too much. It's what they normally could have done. But normally, when they, people would have worked around, they would have kind of made, gave you a chance. Now, they, they don't have any love for you. So, you're just another number to them. You're a casualty of the system. Don't take it personal. Is this? No. Yeah, that was, that was, but that's, that, that's the wake, kind of wake up call, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. about it. Because, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is not really important, but, 
the fact that, you know, it was a recall and the dealers didn't have a car. So they decided to call the rental car dealers, right? And that's how, you know, that happened. Mm -hmm. So my thing, I don't know, you know, even why I'm even dealing with the rental car. Like, I don't really rent a car, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I would actually like my car, right? So you lost so your car, it, so your car is gone now? Yeah, they have my car because it had been recalled. There was a problem, a you know, possible fire. All right, go ahead, bro. I'm sorry, it was a random call. Somebody want to sell me a puppy. I was going to buy my wife a puppy. Oh. I hope they cheered her up. What do you think? You think a puppy would have cheered her up? Well, I, I did try. I texted her pretty much all night until I started seeing the beans outside. <laughs> um, all right, let's talk I about these beans now. Because she, she, ain't, she ain't seen no text. She ain't reading none of mine or nobody's. But let's talk about these beans. What you could have saw is the Merkaba. A Merkaba is a light pyramid. It's only light, and it's up in the sky, and it's in the shape of, you know, it makes like a formation. Sometimes it looks like three. Sometimes it looks like four. It's really more like out of a bunch of lights, and it just line up in such a way. These things are set there to blank your mind. If you aren't, according to the keys of Enoch, now I'm speaking from the keys of Enoch. It's not really a scriptural document. It's kind of one of these um, lately written Urim and Thumb fasting books or whatever. Can you, can you come closer? Can you come closer? Because you're breaking up a little bit. Can you come Where is my microphone? Chris, hold on. Chris, hold on. Something ain't right. Hold on, Tess. Chris, you didn't set it up, man. You didn't do a proper mic test. You can't hear me. And see, I'm changing stuff now. Hold on. I can hear you. Do you hear this? It breaks up. Do you hear this? I can. Yeah. Well, then it's the Wi-Fi. So, what were you saying about these beans? Oh, we got it recorded, though, right? Yeah. Oh, so, Roro, you can hear me, but... Just like me, you're gonna to have to listen to it too. <laughs> so what? I'm, but I, but I will try to do better, right? Yeah. But it, it's it's the Wi-Fi. It's not really that I'm closer or farther away. It's the Wi-Fi. What can we do to strengthen the Wi-Fi in this? Well, we got it connected okay. to Wi-Fi and your phone at the same time, so we can put a hard line on it, can't we? Yeah. Want to do that? Yeah. All right. So we'll we'll take one more step just to get you a little bit clearer. We'll go ahead and put a hard line on this computer. But what I'm saying about these um, these beams, they are they're light beams. And if 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 what you saw, because you said you did say laser beams, they're not like a laser. These will be lights in the sky. Did you see lights in the sky, or did you see or did you see a laser coming from the ground to the sky? Yeah, it 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 kind of looked like it was. Coming from the ground. That's why I was saying I wasn't sure. Is it coming from the sky? Is it coming from the ground? It's got to be and, clear. Now, that's two um, different things. Now, that's way different. If it's coming from the ground, that's man-made. If it's coming, if these lights were emanating from the sky, like they were its own entity, like a like a spaceship. Many people uh, confuse what I'm talking about as a spaceship. If this were the case, then. Um, If this were to, I forgot what I said because you, you might not be hearing me right now. He just pulled a hand grenade out. I don't know. Can you still hear me? I can hear you. Okay, we should get better now. It should get better now. We just plugged you in. But yes. did it look like a spaceship? Yes or no? Well, no. Um, okay. No. Good. I mean, yeah, because the at first I just saw like one right mm. and then i started to see a couple of them okay let me let me let me let me take this let me take this back let me ask this question a different way here are your choices you only have two choices a or b b is that there was somebody on the ground with a laser beam pointing at the sky and doing some stuff a Somebody can would have said, "Hey, that looks like a UFO to me." Which one is it? No other answer. A or B. 
Would somebody have confused well, that? Let me ask in a different way. Was could a could they have confused that and say, "Hey, I think that might be a UFO, Mama. Look, it's up in the sky. It might be a UFO." Or what Mama said, "No, look, you see them over there. They're having a party and they're shooting a laser up in the sky." Which one is A or B? I would say A. Mm, damn it. I can't say that anybody could do that. You got, you got, you got, you got your mind got blanked. Your mind got blanked. That's why you took that picture. You lost your damn mind. That's what it's for. It's a laser show. That it's a laser thing. It's not a laser thing. It's the Merkaba. And according to Keys of Enoch, it's there to blank the minds of those who are not ready. And, and because you took that picture that shows that you're not ready, you're not supposed to take a picture of anything. You broke the law. Mm. You broke the law. That's why the negativity came. You broke the law. But I did that later. I didn't take a picture before. All you need to do now is you need to repent and you need to take a bath. You have broken the law. That's why your negativity is sliding backwards. You need to take a bath and repent of taking that picture. Break that damn phone. Don't take a picture of nothing else. Damn it. You don't know what you're doing. That phone will get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. Don't take no pictures of nothing else. You don't know what you're doing. I take pictures of stuff, but you notice the stuff I take pictures of is stuff I made or somebody else made, like this table, this this uh, bottle of syrup right here. But that plant over there, I'm not going to take a picture of that plant. That's why okay. I'm real careful in my house when I take pictures of stuff because you might accidentally see outside and see that squirrel or that tree or anything. You, you messed up, so... How does it feel to backslide? You backslide now. What do you feel like now? Feel bad. Feel worse, right? Tell me about it. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Tell us about it. You can get recover. I just told you how to recover. But before you go in and take your bath and repent and all of that, tell us how you feel compared to what you was. Because you 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 like Stacy now. You're broken the law. So talk about it. Tell us how you feel now. Well, now I know, like, not to take any pictures because I was like, what am I seeing? I wasn't afraid. I didn't feel fear, but I was like, whoa, what is that? Like, what's happening out there? Like, it's, this is not human, right? Right, yeah. So... Yeah, it's I, real interesting. I I, 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 they, you read about this stuff. People are saying this all over the place. I actually have a playlist where people are, you know, videotaping them and stuff and showing them on tape. Yeah. But they're all getting in trouble for it. They're all getting well, that, that part, that's, that's interesting because um, I know I, I do follow a couple of channels that <clears throat> do follow things, you know, phenomena in the sky and stuff like that. And um, to understand how, you know, serious, you know, taking pictures are. I don't, I'm terrified now. I don't want to have another, I don't even, you know, I don't even want somebody taking a picture of me or anything. Me neither. I mean, like, me what do we do now? I don't let, look, you know? when they, but what I do like this, I don't let, like, I don't let people take pictures of me, like family members, but when they force the issue, I, 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 I remember what the law says. It don't say don't have pictures. It don't say don't let people take pictures of you. It say don't make them yourself. So like when I'm down there and I got to get arrested and they want to take a picture, I'm, you messing up. You, you, that's you. When I got to get a driver's license, that's your damn job. I got to drive. So I'll sit there if you want me to. Now, Stacy, she read the rules where she was able to cover her hair up. And so she was able to get away with that. But they still made her take that damn picture if she wants to drive. So you got the choice. You know, do you drive? And, and now that our cars are messing up, and I'm going to add this too before I shut back up. But now that our cars are messing up and, and we're losing our cars, mine them broke down and they took the insurance. And maybe we ain't supposed to be out there driving any dang way. Well, that's how I took it in a way. Like I took it like, okay, so that means that you know the father doesn't want me on the hot on the streets. 
You know? That's so I, I then, just said... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, so... Um, and then I went out there on the bike, called myself going to ride the bike, and then people, you know, they, they basically threatened me on the bicycle. Like they was going to run me over. I know, they, I, well, I hope they wouldn't. But you know how they ride by and gun the motor and, and do all kinds of stuff when you ride the bike? So maybe that's it. And, and the thing is, when this, when this pole shit happens, you definitely don't want to be out there on the road like that. Because that's, you know, you don't you don't know how people are going to act. It, 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 um, they're going to act real bad and act real, you know, mean toward each other. Wow. Yeah. This is this is deep. This is really deep. You're an important lady, Roro, and you you bless her for coming forward. Now, what I want you to explain now is not the not the guilt part of what you did wrong. That's that's you're gonna fix that, right? You're gonna take a bath and just yeah. the same way, and you're gonna repent of that, right? And you're gonna be feeling better, right? But until you yeah. get there, you're feeling different now. I want to talk about the feelings that you have. How do you feel? You don't feel you do you do you feel spiritually a, a excited or do you feel this joyful? How do you feel now? Talk about it. Well, it's more like uh when I whenever I do pray, like if I start to pray, like I did that today and I did that last night, I could feel a difference. And I did have like, even dealing with the people on the phone, it was like I had to consciously um, send love to the people. Like, like they were I, negative towards I, you. Like, they was mean. Huh? Like, they were mean. Sorry? Like, they were mean and you had to... Um, yeah. Yeah. That's because you had a bad attitude, yeah. too, right? That's because your attitude wasn't as good. And so you... You projected a negative image onto them, and they bounced it back at you, right? I guess, but I, I mean, I wasn't feeling negative as far as, you know, I wasn't trying to be negative to them, but the energy, I guess, but see, the, the energy started before last night, like like I said, it starts, I remember, it was oh. about 3.30, in the afternoon. But when did you take the picture? No, I didn't take that picture yet. That picture was done at night time. When, the, when you saw the lights in the sky? Yeah. Okay. But, but, the, energy, but the energy that I felt er, the earlier, that was around 3.30 in the afternoon. I was supposed to go and pick up the rental car. And then I found out that I needed a credit card, but by that time, my friend had come by to take me to get the rental car. Okay, go ahead. And so when I found right, and so when I found out that I needed a, a credit card, um, I didn't have it, so I my, I called my brother. You know, I called a couple people because, and my friend who was taking me to get the rental car didn't have a credit card. So the only thing that I see about that is. Yesterday, well, at some point, I was saying to uh, uh, on the on the live about uh, I didn't want to even want to take an, anything from other men, but it was a guy, male friend of mine, who came by to pick me up to take me to get my rental car. Well, okay, and and that's when I started to feel yeah this inner this. That's what happened. You, you, that's where you messed up at. Now I, it ain't really a, a biblical rule about that, but yeah, you weren't supposed to get in that car. You weren't supposed to get in that car at all. You yeah. totally messed up. I ain't finding yeah. fault, but yeah, you want, yeah, I ain't trying to find fault, you know, like people do that's looking for guilt. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. If, if I am going to try to figure out what was wrong with you at this point, yeah, that's a root cause. That's a root cause right there for you getting in that car. If you hadn't got in that car, um, I don't think we'd be having this conversation. But go ahead and tell me. Go ahead and tell me what happened next. Oh, just tell me. Talk for the sake of others who may do something or similar. Yeah, and so... The moment, the, yeah, the moment that the person showed up um, and I had to deal with the people on the phone with the car, that's when I felt this negative energy. And then, you know, I said, um, 
we didn't get to go to, you know, to pick up the car and things like that and stuff. And so um, the person was like, well, I'll take you to, to the grocery, whatever. I said, okay. Uh, we did that. And I, you know, I said, you know, thank you, whatever. The person left and everything. But I didn't feel, I didn't, I didn't like the feeling. I didn't like the feeling that my guy wasn't there to take me. And maybe that, you know, I don't, I think that's the root of it. The, well, you're saying the root is that you're, um, you, you was, you're saying that you were angry maybe, and I might be using too stressful of a word, that he wasn't the one and you had to rely on somebody else. So you was a little bit mad at him or the situation? Yes. Talk about that then. Yeah. And so, um, I had called my brother and I called, uh, I think I called uh, after I called my guy, and I got this really weirdness with the, you know, because one was like, well, you know, I told you you should have had a credit card, and that's how it works, and blah, blah, blah. But something you said earlier today on one of your lives about the curse of uh, Adam and Eve, and that we as women... Um, don't appreciate what our men do. And so today when I heard that, I was like, wait a minute, what is that all about? Uh, because you have our, our men, the ones who are the, the less kind to us, the ones that are, that, you know, want to do the less for us. And then we have these other men who, you know, they just like, like, you know, putting carpets on the on the ground for you to walk, but that's not who you want to be with. You don't even want to be around them. You just see them as a you know, thank you very much kind person, right? But if we're ta if if we're talking about this 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 issue of the relationship between uh, our our uh, the coupleship. <laughs> uh, no, I can, no, I, I don't I, think we. I don't actually don't think we are. Actually, I don't, and I, and I would actually like to change because I don't think we are actually talking about relationships. You got to understand, Robo. You are extremely important. If this, especially if this video gets out, you're going to be really you're going to be elevated even more because of the work that you're doing. All praises to our Most High Father and Creator. But it's not about what exactly you did. And, I, and this is why I keep drawing you. It's not about the act that you did. All you did was an act of fornication. Right? That's the same. But that, but fornication is the same thing we do when we go to um, vacation, when we go and sit at the uh, feast day. Maybe if we don't eat the food, you're just sitting at the party. That's fornication. So you're in the same kind of trouble as if you went to a birthday party or something because you committed an act of fornication. But see, you committed your act of fornication in the third dimension only, and you got to, important to get to get on track now. Okay, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Don't worry about it. Oh, don't I'm worry sorry. about it. Listen to it. Listen to it later. Oh. Listen to it later. Listen to oh. it later. You committed an act okay. of fornication, and 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 it's, it may be important to you that you're doing it in the physical. But what you have to understand is that the act of fornication carries on through all um, 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 dimensions. And so us, we don't have to know, you know, what you was doing in the third, third dimension. We have to understand it's in a fifth dimension and understand that if we do commit the act of fornication, it's going to send us backwards. In other words, even when it's not a sin, and that's important with the understanding here, even when it's not a transgression of a law, but just breaking one of the good ideas, it's going to send you into a negative state. And if you're not prepared to deal with that, which you was not, you was not prepared to deal with that. Now you're going to um, start having feelings towards your mates, your husband, because that's what happens. The um, other women from the Shepherd of Hermits, anger, selfishness, foolishness, lying, all of those start to come and get you and see if they can pull you back down to where it's supposed to be. Now, that Merkaba is to actually take you under and blank your mind and to make you forget who you was. 
Okay. Then you were, and now, and now all it takes is for you to break a commandment, like taking a picture. And it sounds like the only reason why you didn't is because your camera malfunctioned. Which means that's the only reason why you are having this conversation is because your camera malfunctioned. And so you're not a heathen again because you broke a commandment. And so you had sense enough to say, hey, give me a call, coach, and tell me what's going on. I feel strange. For the sole purpose of we, we, you can understand what you did wrong and we can make this video saying that you need to once again read the covenant and stop breaking the law. You took that picture. Right. Yeah, and you got it there. And even all the other stuff. Your conscious tongue sound like your conscious warns you about getting in that car, but you did so out of desperation. Well, no, you, you, you forsook your conscience first. That was the first thing you did was your conscience told you to do one thing and you did something else. So that's your real fault. All the other stuff came because they're going to drag you back now. Once you, once you start making errors, if you're not prepared to correct yourself like you're doing, ask questions if you must. Those, that negative feeling is going to turn into hatred. And next thing you know, you're going to be running around, jumping over gates and, you know, trying to get out. You're going to be like Stacy running. You're going to be AWOL. So you did good. And the only thing you got to do now is take is, um, take your spiritual bath, ask for cleanliness, go through this covenant again. Read it again because you cannot break that. And then now from now on, listen to your conscience. When your conscience tells you not to go down that road, don't go down that road. And if you know mm -hmm. better, if you know you ain't supposed to be in the car, not a dang old man, fine, keep pestering your man. Even, you know, get on his nerves, nag him or whatever. And, you know, but don't get him. No, don't do that. You hold, you can't be, that's for, but it's fornication now. The same thing, like I said, and we, and that's why we need to know it because everything counts as fornication. Unless, wow. you, go, unless you go ahead and do the act. You know, like, like adultery. I may not, Go ahead and rub on nobody else's wife, but what if I'm uh just hanging around with her? That's fornication, yeah. In the military, mm. we call it fraternization, meaning you ain't even supposed to hang around them. Fraternization, mm -hmm. you, yeah, you ain't even supposed to loot the um, officers and the privates. They ain't even supposed to be in the same room, and, you know, like that. That's called fraternization. Well, you was fraternizing with the with the, with somebody, yeah, you yeah, you're supposed to wait, and and because you didn't. Yeah, because you broke, and watch this part, because you broke that rule of your own. That was your own thing you did there. Mm -hmm. Now it created um, negative energy in yourself, and that's key too. You can't even break your own rules. Mm -hmm. Well, the only, I don't know if, if, I can, if I can say the good thing about it is that I know now it's really true like you know there's this discussion that people have about uh, if men and women can be friends like if they can hang out together and stuff like that like in the west we kind of got it all confused I think um, from what, what I've seen in other countries you know um, where you you know you just don't hang out together like that. You can say that if you want. I'll disagree. I think it depends on the individual. You you are in a marriage type relationship, and so you 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 um you ain't even supposed to let your hair shine. You you're not really su supposed to let your hair be seen or your beauty or your glory. I should say, depending on what your glory is, but it, only your uh, boyfriend is supposed to see that. But now what if you, but what if you're single? What if you, what if you like these homeless people that I met up in, um, uh, Charlottesville, Charlottesville, Virginia? You can't say that she's not supposed to be with, with the guy friend that, you know, blah, 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 because she's in a different situation. And so to say, no, we need to quit hanging with guy friends. No, we can't do that. No, you are well, now, you being a married woman. Yeah, you can give that advice, but a blanket meant we need to change our friends. We can't say that. Not out loud. Not as leaders, well, you know, and you are a leader now. I, I hear, I hear what you're saying, and this is what I was, you know, when I I was praying about that that line, because I think about the story in the Bible when it talks about the woman who who was caught fornicating, 
and 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 Jesus had said, you know, like none of those men are your husband, right? And then I heard this 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 other teaching from someone on uh, on the YouTube. It was a woman, and she was she was talking talking about the modern world, the modern one woman or modern situation where you know everything is combobulated now, like in the West, like so women are single or single mothers or single whatever, and so uh, they don't have brothers or uh, male figures around, so they, you know, they've made friends with with men. So they, they, they she was explaining how, you know, the, the, the lifestyle for single women were different, and it wasn't necessarily that these, uh, that she was actually really having uh, sexual relationships with these men, but now when you break it down on the level of what you're talking about, about what is fornication, um, then it's, a, it's not the same story that we understood before. So I was asking the creator about where is this line, like, you know, if you're in a situation and you need help or whatever, and, you know, how how, how do we handle that, right? And so the way I, I, I'm I understanding it today, it's kind of, it's, it's just mind-blowing to me that I don't even, I'm scared. I'm just like, I'm, I'm kind of terrified now because I don't, you know, the line, the line is so fine. But I guess a good part about it. Narrow, the path is narrow. Yeah, we didn't know really even what idolatry was or really what a uh, fornication was. Uh, 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 so our understanding of these words, we didn't really understand them. And, you know, so we were actually breaking them. Like like when we think about what pe most people think about what is sin. So we know that it's, we shouldn't you know, sleep with somebody or steal or lie or whatever, kind of like what you were talking about yesterday about there was a video that you, you posted yesterday, you and Stacey, talking about, I think I think it was about the conscious or um, something you were talking about, you know, the commandments, you know, thy shall not steal or there's a time for healing and time for whatever, stuff like that you were talking about. and And so... I guess the, the only good thing about it, about what happened, what I experienced, first of all, um, be careful about what you say, right? And um, secondly, the, I guess the good part is that I'm understanding um, how serious that line is and how we we've been doing that our and like you know our grandmothers our mothers our father you know we've been doing that like it's been normal now does that come from the dysfunction of you know the break you know the whole dis, you know uh, slavery and the chaos of our world you know I'm not just talking about us but like, you bring that up there's black people it, everybody just seems to go bunkers but when I think about the lineage of our people and um, and to say you know listening to the video that you you, you presented with Stacy's uh, grandma and uh, the things that were said you know that line has been so fine uh, that we didn't even we didn't even we I don't think we even realize that you know how quickly different we became. Like every day we're actually breaking laws. You know, like in the simple we think is so simple and and so normal and and that you know that's uh it's disturbing to me. At the same time, I'm really grateful because I have been asking the creator, where is the lines? Like, what, what is, re you know, how do we know 
uh, what is real? What is the truth? Like, what is really um, where our conscience is? You know, where is, how do we know for sure of what's, what, what we shouldn't do and what we should do? No matter, no matter what. I was going to say the only thing that you got to go by is the third testament. I mean, well, the great book of true life. It it explains it, and that's the only thing that you're going to get. Those videos that Stacy was doing, that's pretty much it. That's the best you're going to get is an understanding of your conscience and what you can expect from him. Because it is our father speaking through you now. and But it tells you how to hear it. It tells you what interferes. Like materialism, like that car, what could very well be a block, a materialistic block of this conscience that you want to hear from. I'm not, I don't know that to be the case for sure, so I can't really speak on it, you know, you know, matter of factually. But I do know that we learned in that video that materialism is a block. And so as far as um, this is concerned, it's all boils down to um, knowledge. And, I'm, and it keeps resonating in my head that my people will die for a lack of knowledge. Knowledge of the law and, uh -huh. and order our requirement to keep it. And then even on as far as understanding our spirituality. So the answer is going to be in the scripture role, and that would be uh, the only reason that I can see in common that you have you have is your um your your um scriptural um experience, much as you read, you know, and that's why you even as far to make it as far as you are right now, but you're still showing that you have some kinks in your armor, you know, it's some mm -hmm. kinks in your armor as far as thoughts, you have some kinks in your armor as far as um what's what's what breaks the law or not, that's where you were tested at. Um, but praise the Father, you have enough merits in your side to actually keep your camera from working. So you didn't actually take a picture, maybe. And, and so you're still able to survive another day. Of course, you're still going to take the bath just because you even thought you could have in the first place. And then, and then you're going to, so you're going to be all right. Um, prayerfully. And then you'll call back and we'll talk about it again and see if you change back because, you know, Stacy's doing, she's, she's making a lot of progress in that area too. She's, she's, um, learning based on your example now. Because of the recordings you did before, we're able to go in and dissect what you what we did here and pull out that, you know, how how it works. And Kristen has tried it and she's tried and everybody's getting better. So, you know, we don't don't feel bad about these examples because like her, through these errors that you're making, you're actually teaching the world. All praises to our Father in heaven for giving you and I the, this opportunity. Yeah. So yeah, hey, go take yeah. your bath and cheer up. Call us back and tell and get back in the conversation yeah, I, or call us back I and tell us it'll be great. <laughs> I feel better already. Yeah, because you repentant. Repentant. You're repentant. Yeah, you want to do better. You're repentant type. There's some shameful ones that's gonna get mad and fight and kill each other. I'm so grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. <laughs> you wanna say anything else yeah. before you go? I'm oh, gonna... I'm going to let you have the floor now. I'm going to go do some other stuff. I'm going to let you have the floor. And then, Chris, you're going to go ahead and close it out, all right? Say all you want. Talk all you want. I just got some other stuff. They still hear you now. You're still recording. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I, I just wanted to say that the stream, too, that we we uh, were um, involved with. Yeah, I like the new formula that you're doing with this live thing, with the scriptures and the, and the music. Um, I think it's. I think there was one guy, uh, Joseph King, he, he expressed, uh, in the chat, um, that he, you know, wanted something like that for a while. And it's kind of good for all of us who kind of feel the same way about the word at this level, at this point. And, um, the fact that we get music too, because we all love music and we probably don't want to go into the other kind of music. So it's kind of been really, um, nice that uh, we have this little group there. Um, the only only, only a critique I have is uh, we have to maybe be careful about some of the lyric content in the music because I can feel some different spirits on certain songs. I understand. I understand. And Roro, Roro, I appreciate you saying that. Um, that was one of the reasons why we were so adamant about, well, so slow about putting them up. But, you know, it, 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 because it's like 500 songs on there. Um, what, what, 
what I guess what I need to do, can I ask you to identify them? Like say, and then we take them out and we could take the whole and, and, and you may identify one artist and say, I didn't like this song that was played at such and such. And, you know, simply by saying that we can go in and look at all of the songs by that artist and decide to delete them all out at one time. Say we don't like that particular artist because where those songs came from is like, um, well, everywhere, didn't it? Yeah. And so, but they do have some lyrics in it. So do you think we're, do you think it's, we can um, try to sort them out or do we need to pull the plug on the whole thing and start over putting them in one at a time? Well, um, what I'm going to see, um, if, did you guys doubt, um, download the, um, the live stream from yesterday, last night, like the end part of it? Yeah, we have it. We haven't downloaded it. It's still in, in YouTube space, but what what about it? Well, because I, I think Chris, um, Chris was, had said to someone, because they asked about the title of the song, of the song, and he said that the, the titles or the, uh, the artist was in the right left corner, uh, right corner, bottom corner. Right. So I don't know if when, he, if he, when he's um, um, playing the song, is it showing like the artist? Mm-hmm. Yes, and ma'am. Title, so, like, yeah, you can type it out, and you can say, "I hate this song, delete it," or "I hate this artist, delete it," and he can go in and take all of them out. Yes, ma'am. That's why he's showing them there. So even the ones yesterday that you heard, if they ever get more, well, you can see them again. You can find particular songs, and you can say, uh, "Delete this one," and we can take it out of the whole library. We want you to do that because. Yeah. Um, okay. go Sorry. No, go ahead. Um. Because there were some songs at the end, and I don't know how that's connected to um, everything that happened yesterday, too, and today, whatever. Because sometimes these songs, um, according to the spirit of, the, you know, whoever did, you know, because sometimes the music is done by another person, and um, the melody could be done by somebody, and then the lyrics could be done by another person. So, um, so you're saying that before the, the, it went the, out the, last night, some songs were played that shouldn't have been played or something like that, and they, it created a negative energy? Well, it, yeah, because it has a different spirit. And then the program right? stopped? Yes. Yeah, and everything just shut down last night. Like, couldn't find you nowhere. Huh, like, ain't that something? Mm-hmm. I was in the bed. What happened, yeah. Chris? Chris, come here and answer to this. What What happened last night? You was in here and then what happened last night? What happened to the stream? The stream was connected to the batteries, to our solar panels. And when we ran out of power, then the Wi-Fi box was taken out. understand. But what we're saying is, she's saying that all of a sudden there was some... Um, songs that came up do you know about any songs particular songs that had occurred before the stream ended because the way it sounded like to me there was a rash of negative songs and then the whole channel went blank hmm no i didn't know anything about mm-hmm. you was the only one up and in here right so no, huh? i'm too bad so i can go back to the stream and see what happened yeah go back to the stream and see what she said she said right before it ended these songs were there right yeah, like you, you know, like the box. What's his name? The box bar. Right, the rock bar. Uh huh. Yes. Like his lyric content, you can understand pretty much every word he says. I haven't. I just have a problem with rappers or even singers where you can't identify the words they're okay. saying. All right, this is what I need you to do. Then I understand. This is what I need you to do. If you hear anything. That makes you feel negatively. Just write down the artist's name and or the song or anything that can help me identify it. And I will check them out. And 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 I'll check out what you say. I am a lyricist myself. I don't, I'm, I'm amateur. I don't even try to make no noise. So I am able to keep up with the rhyme flow. And I do understand, you know, what's going on. It's, but I feel it. When they start mumble rapping, you don't know what they're saying. And it starts sounding like they're cussing and stuff. And some of them do cuss now. But you know, it's it's um, it's in a, it's in a um, 
um, um, um, in a positive kind of way. But even if you have problems with those, I will delete those too because they are, they disturb you. I ain't saying I ain't judging you. You're saying deal with it. I'm just saying help me identify the ones that create this energy. And I will just fly out, delete the song, and I may go in and just delete the whole artist and say we don't want his content on our channel. Yeah, because it's a, it's a fine line. Like, I know, you know, people have problems with cursing words and things like that. Um, and, and I understand that, but there's sometimes, I don't know what the fine line is. Maybe we can all pray on that one, that... Well, it's not so much the words, I believe. I don't mean to cut you off, but I don't believe it's so much the words because the words, they, they, they all come and have an etymology. Like the word S-H-I-T, we don't like that word until we go back about two or three hundred years ago, and that's how what we were using to drive our trains on. And it was the same stuff, cow manure, and they would use it and put it in there, and they would say, we need some more S-H-I-T. Well, and over time, you know, people start, you know, playing with words, and now we don't like that. It's a bad word. Now, what you have to take into consideration is the content in which it's used. Because, you know, um, one man's cuss word, one man's profanity is another man's lyric. And so you have to think of the context in which it's used, right? Because even a word that's used like love, you can take that word and bash somebody with it. Right, you can hurt somebody even with love, and so it's not the word itself, but it's the it's the the um the energy is what I was worried about. If the song creates a negative energy, or if it has language too, I don't care if you don't like it, we'll just take it out. But you have to understand. Yeah, that, yeah. Go ahead. I, I mean, um, personally, I I don't really have a problem with um you know so-called first words in certain music and rap because it's part of the expression, right? Right. Yeah. But sometimes there is a, if I'm just talking about the, the, to the, you know, spirit of it. Right. If it, you know, and, and I mean, at the same time, we all were, we all enjoyed it. Like we were enjoying all the music and everything and, you know, but I did notice like a certain period where um there was some songs, the yeah. And see there is see what it is, like I was trying to say. I didn't want to blame it on the rock our bar. Cause it's my music, I downloaded it. But, I, but what happened was and I I asked him about it, there was some other artists that somehow got in his mix file. See they create a mix file for us. Like they have a mix file for me. If you go into YouTube and put in Coach in the Fight, you probably will hear my mix file. That's created by YouTube, not me. But it has, you know, pretty much all of my stuff in it. Just like it had the Rock Our Bar stuff in it. But when I downloaded his, it had a bunch of other artists in it too. And some of those artists were secular artists and even cussing. And I asked him, I said, man, why you got this in? He said, man, I don't know how they got in there, blah, 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 blah. And so now they are contaminating my file. So don't. So all you gotta do is say, "Hey, I don't like this," and and we'll get it off. But you gotta provide feedback. If you guys go, okay. I mean, yeah, you gotta provide feedback because I'm asleep. I don't. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't up listening to it all times of the night like you know other people are. So and I talk, I asked Chris to write that in there. Then the Mr. Chris to tell people that they have to help us out. Then the Chris. Yes. But he got on a long list of stuff. He ain't got to it yet. But that, but we already own that. And now that he's complaining about it, he'll probably put speed up a little bit or put it at least higher on his priority list. But in the meantime, yeah, if you if, if he'll go back and listen to the ones from the end of the video yesterday and then you or last night when it ended and see if he can see what was in there, just probably just skip from song to song and see where the artists are. You probably go find an old mumble rapper or something like that. And um and I'll <laughs> listen to it. And then um yeah, every, and then once we do get live, you anytime you see, and if you like an artist, say you like it. If you don't, say you don't, just to help other people realize that the, you can identify it like that. We're going to get that garbage out and put some more good stuff in until we get in trouble. We'll start all over and do it again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll, all right. Thank you. All right. Any last words, to the people, to your to your fans, your friends, anybody? Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for having me on here. Thank you for having me it's uh, it's you know it's I don't even know what to say about that like it's it's just just think of it like you're talking to your little sisters just think of it like you're talking to your your young uh, cousins and your, your nieces and your, and 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 even your little brothers that want that want good girls just just give them a little something to go and we know you you're in, you're in a, um 
high orbit right now. You better get to your bath and come back down to your normal state. But let's see if you can say anything before you go. And then, like I said, I'm gone now, so I love you. But you have the floor. You have the floor. There you go. I'm, I'm gone. Love um, you. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just um, I think I, I, I think it's important that we share. That's um, that's I think the most important part at this time is that we share our experiences so we can learn from each other. And um, yeah, and I think that honestly, truthfully, when we share truthfully and honestly, we can have a, a nice community. We can um, enjoy each other as we, you know, keep growing and things like that. So I appreciate you all. I appreciate, um, you know, the work that you guys have done to have this channel because it really helped, has helped me because I really needed the, the vocabulary, the words of this um, teaching, you know, of the Third Testament and because I, I you know, I, miss, I read the, the Old Testament and the New Testament and there were things that I couldn't quite understand and I started to search um, everything. I tried to read everything I could get my hands on and I never, <laughs> I never saw the Third Testament, which would have helped me to eliminate having to go into other types of spirituality, dealing with other spirituality, and I could have stayed um, clean and had a probably a better life at this point. Anyways, um, I love I love the young people. I love our children. I love our young people. I love um, so I really want them to be able to not have to necessarily deal with what we've had to deal with uh, because we didn't know any better. So I want our young men and our young women to stay as pure as possible and to um, stay, you know, close to the word. That's my my desire. That's my my hope for my kids, my my nieces and my nephews. Um, that love is is the best. Of, um, yeah, we have free will, and uh, it, it's a great thing that we have free will. Uh, but there's a better plan for us that works better. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway. All right. Bye.